Hello, my name is Cecilia Donna. I'm a member of the Greater Bible Way Temple of Albion. We're located at 402 Austin Avenue, Michigan, Albion, Michigan. Zip code is 49224. Our pastor is Kevin Williams Jr. Please join us on our website, which is gbwtalbion.org and see what a wonderful job we're doing right now here in this community. Please join us and thank God. Amen. God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. We greet you here at Greater Bible Bay Temple of Albion. We are still in our fruit of the Spirit uh, series. Tonight we will be dealing with peace. Uh, first we dealt with love. Then our last Bible study we dealt with joy. And tonight we will be dealing with peace. I mean, y'all know that peace is essential. Amen. Peace is essential for you. Peace is essential in your relationship. And peace is essential with your walk with Jesus Christ. Amen. He will give you peace in the middle of the storm. Amen. And that's why we need to make sure that we have a relationship with him. But tonight, we will be focusing on us. Because, believe it or not, saints can be very messy. Huh? They can be ratchet, as the young people say. They can cause confusion. So we have to display the same peace that was discussed in the Bible. So tonight we have our handouts. We'll be starting in the book of Psalms, Psalms number 29, verse number 11. Psalms is a book of poems and songs mainly written by David, giving praise and thanks to what God has done and who God is. So let's see what it says here in Psalms number 29, verse 11. The Lord will give strength unto who? His people. Not unto Satan's people. Not unto the devil. But the Lord will give strength Unto his people. We just preached on this Sunday morning. I got the hookup. A lot of us are not utilizing the power that we have. It goes on to say the Lord will bless his people with what? Peace. One sign to know that you are of God is if you display what? Peace. Some things we need to just let go. A lot of things I see that makes me upset, or I want to say something, but God has given me the spirit of what? Peace. Peace. You have to use wisdom. You cannot attack in on full throttle every single situation, or you will stress yourself to the grave. You have to display this, especially in the church. We see that we're growing here. You don't want people to come in and you in the church, you're hollering, you're cussing, you're fussing, you're not displaying peace. And nobody does not want to join or attend a church that is not peaceful. Amen. 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 Let us go to Proverbs, which is one book over. Proverbs traditionally is dealing with wisdom. It is a book that Solomon wrote to his sons and possibly even his daughters. But we can still apply these scriptures to our life today. Proverbs chapter 20, I mean, excuse me, chapter 12, verse number 20. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 20 reads, The seat is in the heart of them that imagine evil. Wow. Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. Before you 
do anything in life, don't you know you got to think it first? Mm. Yeah. So those that, that practice, conduct themselves, display that negative behavior, they imagine it first. As Christians, we should never imagine. I'm not even to the point of doing. We should never imagine evil or doing something evil, saying something evil. And I know none of us is perfect, but our goal as Christians is to strive for perfection. Praise the Lord. Paul said that I strive toward the mark, which is my prize. So make it to heaven. That's the bottom line. All this coming to Bible study, coming to Sunday school, coming to morning worship, coming to prayer, reading your Bible, praying, fasting, living holy, living righteous, evangelizing, witnessing. This is what is necessary to make it weird. Into heaven. After you repent of your sins, after you be baptized in water, in Jesus' name, after you receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, it does not stop there. You must live a life holy, which is acceptable unto who? Jesus. God, and what's God's name? Jesus. Which is your reasonable, <laughs> your reasonable. Some of us think that what we do for God, we're looking out for God. But it is our reasonable service. God is not even asking you to go over and beyond. He just wants you to do your reasonable service. It goes on to read verse 20, but to the counselors of peace is what? Joy. Which we just talked about on last Bible study. If you truly display peace, and counselor does not mean that you are in the pastor's office counseling the saints and the members. Counselor can be a seasoned saint that you possess more fruits or all the fruits than those that are coming in, new saints that needs what? Encouragement. How many of y'all need encouragement? Amen. Amen. I need encouragement. I'm not too shy to raise my I need encouragement. Everybody that like said, hey, you're doing a good job. Yes, sir. That is important. And sometimes you don't get it. Mm -hmm. And that's what your brothers and sisters in the Lord is there, is to encourage you during your down times. Now, we see that one of the traditional parts of service have now became obsolete with testimony service. Testimony service was geared to motivate and encourage those that were going through similar trials and tribulations, and they see that you was able to get through your tests, your trials, your issues, your hurdles, that you can then motivate them. Praise the Lord. Amen. But now it seems like it has become obsolete. We have to encourage one another for those that are senior or mature or seasoned saints, as we counsel of peace, which is joy. Let's go to St. Matthew, chapter number 10. Now we'll be going to the New Testament. Do you love the Lord? Amen. Give God a hand praise up in here on tonight. Come on, give God a hand praise. I need God. Thank you, Jesus. Most of you Michigan fans should be happy because they beat Penn State. Let the church say amen. amen. Mm -hmm. St. Matthew, chapter number 10, and we are interested in verses 34 through 36. And it's in red, so who said it? Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Sister Keisha. Mm -hmm. Verse number 34 reads, Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace by a sword. For I am come to set a man, and there he is against his father, and the daughter against his mother, 
and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's foes shall be they of his own household. Jesus is dealing here specifically, and he's speaking to his 12 disciples. Disciples. They were not yet apostles. Before you become a leader, you must be what? First, a follower. And disciples simply mean to be a follower. And Jesus was speaking to them to let them know that one reason that he has came is to send peace on earth. Amen. God did not come down here for your foolishness. God did not come down here for your games you play. God came down here to send peace. And God does not, and what's God's name? Jesus. God does not approve division and here he's speaking in division in verses 35 and 36 in the house amongst the family. Amen. The church is symbolized of the characteristics or the basis or the foundation of a family. Right. We are supposed to be family. Yes. We're not supposed to be talking about each other behind their back. We are not supposed to be talking about each other to our sisters and our brothers because according to the scriptures we must up in the house and not only our house because your first ministry starts at home Amen. your first ministry starts at home and if you cannot have your house in order how can you help to have the house of God anymore Amen. you are simply out of control as a Christian because you do not have things aligned according to the word of God. Now you can get mad at me, stick your nose out, roll your eyes, poke out your lips, and I think I'm a very smart man, but I'm not smart enough to write this Bible. My job is to preach and teach the truth to help you get to where? To heaven. Let us go to Romans before people start leaving Bible study on tonight. Romans chapter 12, verse Since I spoke on it, let us start first at Romans 12 and verse number 1. I want to read verses 1 and 2 to solidify and confirm the previous statements that I said in here in this Bible study. Romans 12 1 reads, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies of what? A living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto who? God. And what's God's name? Jesus. Which is your reasonable service. Verse number two, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove that prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. You cannot be in church, leave the church. Asking the transportation committee to stop by the local liquor store. So you can play your three digit, play your four digit, your mega millions, your Powerball, get you uh, your Swisher Sweets, huh? get a pint of Hennessy, get back into the van or the vehicle that, that the church provides transportation like you just did not hear the word of God. Amen. God will deal with you. Amen. And you wonder why that you're stuck in the same position because you are not fulfilling the entire scriptures. You are doing what the Baptist church do. You are picking and choosing with scriptures that you must live by. <laughs> and that's totally out of order. Now I have friends that are Baptist. Some are filled with the Holy Ghost. And believe it or not, some have been baptized in water in Jesus' name. Some of them done it secretly but nevertheless, we have to guide individuals to the right. If you are my brother and my sister, 
sister, I don't want you to go to hell. Amen. My goal is to help you get to where? Yeah. Heaven. Let's go to Philippians chapter 4. Verse number 7, I believe we just lost our Baptist following on our social media, but <laughs> we will still give God the glory anyway. Philippians chapter 4. Verse number 7. Toward the end of the New Testament. And the Bible reads in Philippians chapter 4, number 7, and the peace of who? Yeah. Which passes what? Oh. All understanding shall keep your hearts and your minds through who? Right. Christ Jesus. Huh? So even here, even though this is not our particular uh, topic that we want to focus on tonight, this scripture here tells you what's God's name? Jesus. <laughs> it's very simple. It's basically saying that you can get peace from God through who? Jesus. This is why we end our prayers in Jesus' name. This is why we baptize in Jesus' name. And this is why the demons tremble when they hear what? Jesus' name. Because Jesus, his name in itself causes peace. See, the, the devil's job is to kill, steal, and to destroy. But God has come that we might have life and have it more abundantly. And in the life that God wants to provide you and me, it comes with peace. Yes, sir. It comes with peace. Even my wife has asked me in certain trials and tribulations we face, why are you not upset? Why are you not showing no emotion? I'm used to it. It's trials and tribulations. And she's not saying those words uh, to exact Praise the Lord. But I have learned to know when we're being attacked by the enemy. And I have known that even with Job, when he lost everything, the devil, I mean, God told the devil, you cannot kill Job. So we're going to go through tests and trials because it's due to the elevation of what God has for us. You have to go through the fire baptism. Yes. The gospel is free, but the anointing calls. And if you want that anointing, everybody's like, I want to be anointed. I want to be anointed. You're going to go through some things. Yes, you are going to go through some things. But even when you are going through them things, Jesus will provide you peace through the storm. And church saying, man. Amen. 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 Let us scroll over to the book of Colossians, chapter 3, verse number 15. As we are still dealing with peace, we are still in our series of fruits of the Spirit. And we are dealing with the third characteristic that was mentioned in the book of Galatians, chapter number 5, verses 22 and 23. Let us see what it says here in the book of Galatians, chapter 3, verse 15. And it reads, And let the peace of who? God. And what's God's name? Jesus. Ruling what? Your what? Our hearts. How can you be messy, ratchet, and an evil, have hate in your heart if you say you say? The Bible says, How can you say you love God, which you have not seen? Mm -hmm. You see your brother every day who you say you hate. It doesn't go that way. Hate and love does not operate in the same position. Amen. It goes on to say, to the which also ye are called in what? One body. One body. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, and how many bodies? One. Now we look at all these religions. Buddhism, Judaism, huh? Muslim, Nation of Islam, all these religions, they all have how many gods? One. We the only one that try to divide God into three. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Man. God does not have no side chicks, huh? Yeah. Or no side man on the side. Hallelujah. It is one Lord and one faith and one baptism and a church. 
one. And be thankful. Huh? Yes. When God blesses you, be ye thankful. Yes. If you want God to bless you again, be on your best behavior. Amen. If God gives you some money, don't go out and spend it on some weed. I'm talking to somebody on tonight. Hallelujah. Huh? Praise the Lord. We need to let the peace of God rule in our hearts. We need to basically, what Paul is saying here, the Colossian church, you need to display peace among your brother and your sister. A lot of the writings of Paul, he was dealing with primarily issues that were um, that were taking place in the church. So a lot of his letters that we see here in the Bible, he was correcting them on their behavior. He was correcting on how your characteristics should be. So he is reminding us here in the book of Colossians that we should have peace where? In our what? In our heart. Let us go to Hebrews chapter 12, verse number 14. Only a few more scriptures and we will close out. I would like to thank myself for cooking that great meal that everybody <laughs> enjoyed. Amen. 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 We just read that you need to be deeply thankful. Now, so I need to thank myself. Because I thank my wife when she cooks. I thank Sister Lanada when she cooks. I thank Sister Keisha. Amen. Amen. I thank Sister Sally. She be working at a little bit in our kitchen. She be working at her. I thank her. Praise the Lord. I thank Minister Thomas when he provides a dinner for us. So I gotta thank myself. Be thankful. Amen. Hebrews chapter 12, verse number 14 says, Follow peace with what? All men. Now, I work, I work, I used to work at Magnus Steel. It is a supplier for the big free automotive company. They made seats for Chrysler, Ford, and GM. Um, and we were going on lunch, and one of my um, co-workers was Muslim. Muslims don't eat what? Pork. So therefore, to keep the peace, and according to the scriptures, you should not want to offend your brother, I would not eat pork in front of him or around him because I didn't want to feed him. I wanted to keep what? Peace. Right. And the scripture is saying here, follow peace with what? Oh, only apostolic. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Only Baptist. Mm -hmm. Only Presbyterian. Mm -hmm. Only Catholic. Huh? It says with well, all men. Mm -hmm. And for the women that's turning up in their face, that includes you as well. Mm -hmm. Follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. If you don't display peace with all men, according to the scripture, you will not see who? The Lord. So you ain't got to worry about if you're going to get your tickets when Beyonce and Jay-Z come back to Detroit, because that is not your goal. Your goal is to be and see who? The Lord. And what's the Lord's name? Let us scroll over just a little bit to James chapter 3. Verse number 18. And I know saints say, Pastor, why you keep talking about Beyonce and Jay-Z concert? Praise the Lord. Well, it doesn't make sense where saints are posting on Facebook, because I'm looking right at them on Facebook, their tickets, their wardrobe, what they purchased to go to these concerts. And then they got the nerve to have me a GoFundMe right on Facebook. And I'm talking about people that say, filled with the Holy Ghost. Can you please give me some money to go worship the devil tonight? Mm -hmm. Don't that sound like some mess to you? Mm -hmm. I wish I might. James chapter 3, verse number 18, and the fruit of righteousness is sown in what? Peace. peace. And then they make what? Peace. peace. If you want peace, you got to sow what? Peace. You can't be screaming, hollering, the main one calling commotion. Huh? And you say, well, why there ain't no peace? You are not sowing peace. That which you sow, you should also reap. Amen. So if you want peace, 
You have to display that amongst your brother and your sister. I mean, you saw when Jesus was speaking to his disciples before they came apostles, he was telling them that the household, he does not want division. That's not why he came. Part of the reason he came was to send peace to where? To the earth. Amen. 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 One of the uh, names that is characterized to God is the prince of what? Peace. Not the artist formerly known as Prince, but God is the Prince of Peace. Last scripture before we close out, 1 Peter chapter 3. Let's start at verse 10. I know this is not on your handout, but we can add this one scripture that it may be a blessing unto you and help you be able to receive our title and our focus on tonight, which is peace. First Peter chapter 3, verse 10 reads, For he that will love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue for what? Jesus help us. And his lips that they speak no God. Verse 11, let him show evil and do good. Let him seek what? Peace. And ensue it. If we can just turn from our wicked ways, huh? then, then God will hear us. We need to humble ourselves unto God. We think we all that in the bag of Lay's potato chips. Huh? Whatever flavor you like, southern barbecue heat, sour cream, and chai, we need to humble ourselves and turn from our wicked ways. Then God, which is in heaven, will heal us. He only want to hear what we got to say. How can you be talking to God smoking weed? Got your 40, huh? 40 on the side. Got wicked stuff playing on the TV, huh? Got Lil Wayne bumping in the background, talking about God, can you bless me? You don't want to hear that because you didn't come to him correctly. You have to come to God correctly. So we need to work on church on displaying, dwelling, and achieving this important characteristic, this important fruit of the Spirit, <laughs> peace. We love you and God bless you in Jesus' name.